Hey, what's up guys? Pete Moriarty here and in this video I'm helping you out with getting started with your team meetings on video calls. Now we get uh, lots of questions about this with our clients asking, how do I get started running virtual meetings? And this is really one of the best advantages of rolling out G Suite or any kind of cloud collaboration tools to your business. So why would you want to get started with Google um, or, or with any video team meetings? Number one, means that you can get work done from wherever you are. So whether you're working with your mobile or whether you want to work on the uh, le you know local desktop PC, that's awesome. It also means it's going to cut down on your travel time. Uh, we use meetings uh, on video not only internally, but also externally as well. So for client meetings. Now we cover uh, both Australia and New Zealand. Um, so we do video meetings with our clients all the time. It's just a conscious decision that we made about five years ago because we wanted to service the whole of the ANZ market. So if you kick off doing video meetings, it might open up new markets for you or new ways of being able to work, but at least it's going to cut down on your travel time and particularly if you want to build an international or remote team or you want to start multiple offices, then you're going to need a way to keep your team connected. All right, I'm going to talk about hardware and then I'm going to talk about software. So if you want to get started with the basics, you need uh, some kind of device with a camera, right? So you can either operate off your smartphone, I've got the Pixel 2 XL here, um, or if you're on a laptop, it's probably going to have a built-in camera, and that's probably going to be good enough quality to run meetings from. If it's a fairly modern laptop, then you're going to have at least a 720p camera, and that's great. Now, if you're sitting on a desktop, um, or if you're on a, maybe an, maybe you've got an older iMac, then maybe head down to uh, Officeworks or JB Hi-Fi and grab yourself a $100 Logitech camera. Um, now, if you buy one that's 1080p, uh, it's gonna be HD quality, and that's gonna be much better than uh, any internal cameras, or if you've got a super old crappy laptop, then maybe it doesn't have a great one either. So that would be my recommendation. Go spend 100 bucks on a 1080p camera. Next up, audio. Don't disregard this. I personally wouldn't recommend using the audio on your uh, webcam. It's probably not going to be great quality and the audio from your laptop is probably not going to be great either. Um, so if you want to go for the basics, like let's say if you're just running around on the mobile, um, I just use my earbuds and they're pretty good. Um, so when I'm on the road, um, earbuds will do the trick or if uh, you know I'm on holidays or sitting on the beach or in a deck chair or whatever, um, they're good. Um, but if you're working from the office and you want to do a lot of one-on-one -on -one, uh, video meetings with your team, then I'd consider investing in something like this. So this is a Plantronics headset. This one's about $300. You can get it on our website and I'll pop the, um, uh, uh, the, the details and a link down below. Um, but this is, it runs on Bluetooth. You put a little USB dongle into the computer and this is really brilliant quality. Now, not only is this good for you running meetings, but it's good for your team as well. If you've got someone who wants to work at home um, or if you've got an international team member who you need making phone calls using something like Dialpad or using Google Hangouts to have meetings with your customers, this microphone actually has active noise cancellation built right in. Um, so what that means is it actually blocks out the sounds. Um, you can probably hear some kind of background noise around me. Um, it will actually block out all of those sounds, which is pretty cool. Okay, third piece of hardware that you might want to consider. If you have an office, uh, or maybe you, you want to have a dedicated meetings room, I have a dedicated meeting room in my home, in my home office, um, you can buy a Chrome for Meetings kit, uh, and uh, sometimes called a Hangouts Meet kit, there's a few of them, uh, but what that does is it connects to Google Hangouts, and it actually connects up to your TV, and it comes with a high def camera, microphone, speaker, and a little box to control it all, and you just bring your own TV, and that turns your meeting room into a instant uh, Hangouts kit, basically. And you can also connect that to Skype or Zoom if you want to as well. Uh, I've done other videos on those, which I'll link below. All right, last step is software. What software do you want to use for video meetings? Now, remember, you want to connect your team, so you want software that's going to get people looking as good as possible. And you probably want other features like being able to maybe share screens. Um, you know, you can record the webinars using different pieces of software. Personally, we use Hangouts for just about everything. Um, so Google Hangouts is part of G Suite, you get it for free, works great for internal meetings and external meetings as well. So our customers don't have to be Googlers, uh, they can be any kind of business and we can just send a URL from Google Meet and instantly the customer will be into the meeting, makes it nice and simple. Another one I recommend if you're looking for an alternative, maybe you're in the Microsoft world or if you're using um, uh, Google but you want a few more features, Zoom is absolutely fantastic. It, you, it will let you run webinars if you want to run webinars. It's got like huddle rooms that you can set up. You can record the meetings really easily. Um, you can't record meetings in Hangouts unless you're on the higher um, plans with Google G Suite um, with, the, um, with the business accounts. 
Um, but with Zoom, it lets you do a few little extra things. And we actually use that when we present our webinars. Um, there's a few little options in there that make it nice for webinars. Anyway, we've covered off three things. Quick summary, to get started with your video meetings, it's not only gonna help you reduce travel costs if you're right now doing a lot of traveling around, but it's gonna better connect your team. And we recommend doing daily huddles. Um, if you've got a remote team or you've got team in different offices, make sure you've got daily huddles happening on video and not just on text chat or not just on the phone. Video is such a great way of connecting with people, seeing their micro expressions and just feeling more connected. It's really great for everyone. Um, and then secondly, what hardware do you want to use? You can start with your earbuds, but it's recommended that you get a professional microphone uh, for the office. You might grab like a podcasting microphone, or my recommendation is to grab a professional headset if you're doing it for one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and then there's also meeting kits available. And then finally, uh, what I covered off is when you're using software, we'd of course recommend Google Hangouts, uh, but Zoom is another great alternative as well. Now, one little pro tip as I finish up, we also use video meetings for social events with our distributed team, as well as just day-to-day -day meetings as well. So once a fortnight, we have a thank God it's Thursday, and we all hang out. We have either beers or pizza or whatever we want to do. Sometimes we play games. Sometimes we're introducing a new team member if we've just hired someone new. And that's our Thursday social hangout. So I'd recommend you use video meetings for more than just your internal day-to-day -day stuff. Also, see if you can use them for your team building as well. Until next time, see you later, guys. And if you have any questions, just pop them right below this video. Take care.